Hey everyone, this is Patrick from STH. Today we're going to try AMD Ryzen with FreeBSD 11. We're also going to do the installation on an NVMe SSD and we're going to use ZFS as our root file system. In terms of compatibility, we just wanted to see if this setup will work or if we're going to get issues like we got with CentOS. Coming from a server background, it's a little weird to have a LED lit blue system, but nevertheless, we have it for this guide. If you want to see what the actual build looks like, we're going to have a full build list in the forums. Because watching an OS installation is pretty boring, we're going to speed up this video by quite a bit. We're going to stop at a couple key points. The first one being when we go install the OS, what we're going to do is install it on a ZFS root file system. ZFS is a major feature for FreeBSD, so we wanted to try this out. We did do test installations using other uh, file system options and they worked fine. We're going to go through another quick speed up of the installation process because the next part is just installing various packages. We did want to highlight one particular screen which is normally we would install PowerD to allow FreeBSD to control P states of the processor. That's not something you're going to want to do just yet. Towards the end of the video we're going to show you why. After you get past the screen where PowerD is not selected, the rest of the installation takes a few minutes and then the system will reboot. Since we're using an external KVM device and a VGA output, the video is quite ugly, but you can see that the system is working. Behind the scenes, we set up SSH so we could use a root with password and we could actually show you some of the stuff in a screen that looks decent. You can see the AMD Ryzen CPU and you can also see that we are using a ZFS root file system. Now if you remember when we did the installation we said we do not want to install PowerD and we're going to show you why right now. So this is an installation we did with PowerD installed. You can see that the hardware P state is failing to set using FreeBSD 11 and Ryzen. This is something that we would want to see fixed, but for now, we would just say, keep PowerD off. If you don't do that, you're gonna see console error messages constantly in FreeBSD 11. Since FreeBSD 11 worked with our NVMe SSD and ZFS root file system, we see no reason that you can't use Ryzen with FreeBSD 11 today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.